Working Rouse Fly Box. Today we're going to tie a caddis pattern. It's called the Sunday Caddis. It got its name from the feather that's used for the wing, a church window feather from a pheasant. That is a church window feather. Very common feather. Uh, gives a great modeling look, appearance uh, to anything it's used for. Uh, great for collars. But we're going to use it for the wing on this one. I start off with a Orvis tactical check hook, size 14, and a gold tungsten bead. And the first thing we're going to tie on, wrap on rather, it's going to be seven wraps of uh, 0.015 lead substitute wire. Put seven wraps, that's going to be just enough to uh, seat the bead, give it a little bit of extra weight. Seat that good behind the bead there. Now we're going to start our thread. I'm using black uni 6 aught. And then we're going to wrap our thread back. About the midway point. And trim the butt off. The next material we're going to tie in is fine gold wire. And we'll start that right behind the lead. And we're going to wrap that back about midway into the bend of the hook. Pretty deep into the bend. We're going to bring our thread back up to approximately in line with the point of the point of the hook. At this point we're going to form a dubbing loop. Form that loop and then we're going to wrap it back again to where we stop the wire and then bring our thread forward. And we're going to apply a little bit of dubbing wax to that loop because we're going to use a material that almost requires it. We're going to form our abdomen with groundhog or woodchuck whichever region you're from under fur I pick this out when I'm doing chuck caddis every year and I save it, to me it's like gold it's a great dubbing under fur, uh, under fur and uh, it has a translucency that I really like it's spiky, it's got a lot of movement in the water and a little goes a long way I don't shred it. I leave it just as I clip it off. I leave it long. I take my dubbing loop or my shepherd's hook and I start to spin it clockwise and then I counter spin it with my fingers to tighten it up with that wax. Not too, too much. You don't have to brush this out. You don't have to make it spiky. This uh, this dubbing material has a way of almost being the perfect dubbing. I don't worry if I have flyers. It's not a heavily dubbed. I mean, you got to wrap it on to make sure you have coverage. And I take the dubbing pretty much all the way up. It's about a turn behind the bead. Right up to the lead, pretty much. Like I said, it's a rather unruly material that works in your favor. 
put the properties in the water. And then I'm going to counter wrap it with the wire. Just evenly space it. Standard wire wrap for nymph. Bring it up behind the bead. Tie it off. The next material you're going to tie in is tan CDC. Tan or dyed wood duck, whichever color you happen to have. I trim the tips and then sweep them forward. I originally tie them in with about two turns on top, loose, because we're going to pull it forward. I didn't trim that tip out of there good enough. We don't want that in there. There we go. I leave it long, give a couple wraps, and making sure it stays on top. We're going to pull that in to where the tips of the CDC are right about even with the bend of the hook. Give a couple security wraps. that down. Next we're going to tie in our church window. Now I come down, I sweep these, I sweep the tips back, so that the usable material that I have beyond the tip is uh, just about half again as long as I want the wing to be. I want the wing to be pretty much what the CDC is. Trim that tip off of there. Then we're going to sweep them forward. And it may look like too much, but I leave about a quarter inch on either side. Maybe three sixteenths, but you can see that it looks like more wing than you would want. But this squeezes down pretty tight. We're going to tie that on. We're going to lay it over top, right behind, with the, the end of that right behind the bead. Then we're going to fold it down. We're just going to pinch it and fold it. And put three wraps in there. And then start pulling it, not tight wraps, loose wraps. Then we're going to pull it so that the wing stays on top. And we're shooting for hook length. And you'll see that it kind of keeps, naturally keeps half of that on either side of the hook because you've held it in the fold. And trim it off. Next material you're going to tie in is peacock. I failed to bring it up here. I'm going to take two strands of peacock curl. I tie them in butt first, and I trim the first three quarters of an inch off. Tie that in right behind the bead. And then we're going to palmer them forward together. Usually get a good few wraps. and then a whip finish.
and there it is. Sunday caddis. Great emerger pattern. Very productive around here in the limestone streams. When they're chasing, you can swing this to the tail end and lizen ring lift at the end of your swing. Hope it has your box that has mine. Good luck. See you in the water.